I'm Jacob Schreiber. I am the president and CEO of the Jewish Community Center of Greater Kansas City. And this week's Parsha is Akev. I've been asked to just give a moment of Torah. When I was 25 years old, I had cancer and I was in the hospital. And I was writhing in pain. And my father, an Orthodox Jew, was sitting there watching me. And I said, Dad, what did I do wrong? You know, how could I be punished so badly? What, what could I possibly have to deserve this? My father says, I don't believe God punishes. Uh, I just don't believe that. And that was always strange because we were Orthodox Jews and it's simply said in Shema and in other places in the Torah, if you listen to my laws, I will reward you. If you don't, hishamru lachem, be careful. Because then the, the um, rains won't come and bad things will happen and you'll be chased from the earth. So I always thought that that was a punishing God, a God that rewarded and a God punished. Akev sort of goes over that with Shema. It's almost the same thing. It starts off saying, if you listen to my laws, and God goes through us a whole bunch of ways that we will be rewarded. And later on it says, but if you don't, you know, there'll be a punishment. Now in between, however, which is really interesting, because in between it says what I really believe. This isn't a God that rewards or punishes. I don't believe that. I believe we have been given the Jewish religion in order for God, or whoever has created it, to basically say, here's some guidelines. And if you follow these guidelines, if you're good to people, if you're not haughty, if you don't fight, if you're honest, then what will happen is that you will have plenty. You'll have what you need. You'll have things, you'll have a good life. There'll be peace. You'll thrive on the earth. But when you forget that when you have things, and when you forget about treating people well, and if you start believing that everything you've had is because of your own uh, deeds or talents or just entitlement, then you sort of slip up. And what do you think happens when you slip up? Well, we start not treating people well, and they start retaliating. We start hoarding, and people are poor, and people are too rich. We forget. This is the God, or this is the Judaism that I have come to, to believe in, and something that I always watch. So it's not that God is a punishing God, a God of reward. Uh, it is just basically saying, I have given you this Torah. If you follow these commandments, a little left, a little right, a little up, a little down, but that you follow my guide, you'll live a good life. Shabbat Shalom.